What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today we're embarking on a new project. Uh, this one's got me a little nervous, if I'm gonna be honest. I've never done something quite uh, like this from scratch before, but uh, we're gonna go through it together in this video and we'll see how it comes out and see what we learn. In a previous video that I'll link up here, uh, we built some rock sliders for my truck uh, for a future trip here that's going to Moab. And one of the other big problems uh, with this truck in terms of off-roading is the front approach angle and the front bumper. As you can see, there's quite a bit of distance before the front wheels actually get on to an obstacle. And more importantly, this right here, tin, this is plastic. You can see this truck's been hit a few things with the front of it. It's in its time. Pretty much the only thing we're gonna keep out of this front end are those two big factory recovery points. The goal here today is I wanna build a cool tubular front bumper. The other big problem with these trucks that we found out is that there's not a ton of aftermarket support and if you want a front bumper, it's usually only like a ranch hand style or one of those big gaudy like iron cross blocky looking things. If that's your jam, it's fine. It's just not my style. I like something a little more sleek. I like something a little bit more trim. And so we're gonna try to build something that I feel represents uh, me and my truck a little bit better. And I've decided I'm not gonna do a winch. This truck is not a full-time off-roader. I don't want a big heavy winch hanging off the front of it all the time. I don't think I would use it very much. But we are going to install a front receiver tube so that we can mount a winch in the front for recovery projects because I feel like that's what I'm going to use it for most often. Other than that, it's going to be a nice, clean, smooth, tubular bumper. Um, and I have some ideas in my head. We're going to see what the limit of both uh, my tools and my skills are. With that, there's nothing really to do except tear all this plastic off the truck and see what's lurking underneath. It took me about 30 minutes to get the front bumper off. Really not too bad. Let me show you guys what I did. So this front mustache area thing is, uh, there's some seven millimeter pops on either side, or screws on either side, and then a bunch of pops. The bumper um, has bumper mounts here that I'll show you guys in a second, plus a 21 millimeter bolts that hold the bumper on, and you can see right here. And then there's 15 millimeter bolts that hold these little side pieces on. And you gotta disconnect your fogs and stuff like that. So let me show you guys on the truck what the truck now looks like. These right here um, are also 21 millimeter. These mounts uh, connect to the frame, and I didn't realize they were part of the bumper, so I took these off of the bumper. We're actually gonna use these as our mounts. They're perfect, they lift the bumper up in place. We can weld a piece of square tube here. This is actually fantastic. Uh, so there's 21 millimeter. These things have a combined bolt holder thing over here, but they're really easy to remove with an impact. Um, so I'm gonna get these squared up uh, real quick and then uh, we'll start cutting metal. Okay, so we've started on some of the mounts. Um, basically all I've done is I cut some three and three quarter by four inch 316 plate here. So this is just tacked in for now on both ends. And then this is two by two 120 wall square tubing uh, to stabilize between. And this is where we're gonna mount our toe point off of. Um, so everything's just kind of tacked in for right now. So the next question is, where are we gonna put the primary bar? And the thing is, as you can see from this design, right? We have to cover kind of this area. And then we also have to come up and cover this area. The question becomes, how do we do that? And so, I'm still not sure, I'm kind of figuring it out, but I think we're gonna grab a piece of bed tubing and maybe try to figure out how all this is going. Okay, so the design I decided to go with is basically gonna be a front mustache bar and then we're gonna build the sides off of that. Basically, it's kind of a cop-out because I'm still not confident in my like multi-plane bending skills. So this will allow us to bend uh, curves individually in pieces and then weld them all together. These are kind of the design I'm going with. It's gonna end up being about a 45 inch front. There'll be a front bar that runs parallel right here. And then I'll curve in and fall into this pocket and then we'll build this part off of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend the actual bar and then we're gonna figure out how we're going to secure it down to the frame horns and exactly the kind of like where we want it. I'm basically cutting the ends a little long and then we can trim them back. Let me show you guys what we've done here. Um, so I just did some, some finish welds a little bit on this just to uh, put everything into place. I had to remove the shackles to get this slid in so I could use the jack stands to hold this into place. Right now this is just tacked in. This is gonna be our main hoop. I'm actually gonna cut this down a little bit later because it's actually touching here. But we're gonna use this tube to kind of build our riser piece that's gonna run across here. And so this is gonna be kind of the most complicated bend that we're gonna do because we're gonna have to do around and then back around that corner. So that's gonna be kind of the next thing and we're basically gonna build everything off of this main 
uh, mustache here. Basically what we did here, this is a 45 degree bend right here. This is a 60 degree bend. And the reason this comes out is in case this caves in a little bit, it won't break the headlight. Plus the headlight has to come forward to be removed. So we wanted to have a little bit of space here, got a little bit of space here, and we've got a matching piece over here. Uh, so these have been challenging. It took me a few times to get these right. But you know, if you just take patience and write stuff down and, and make sure that you kind of understand what you're doing, it's, it's just time consuming. I can definitely see why people charge a lot of money to build two products. Uh, because you know I'm really slow because I'm an amateur but even if you're a professional this stuff takes time to plot out and lay out so in the end I decided I want this bumper high up as possible we're gonna build a skid plate and step down here later and there's really not a whole lot we can do about this other than relocate this windshield wiper container I looked at some of the way the aftermarket bumpers are made and any of the kind of off-roady highline ones they just leave all this stuff exposed so I think for now that's what we're gonna do too um, there's just no way to like really open that area, but also keep it uh, protected. So what I did was I made a hoop down here. Uh, this is an angle. We're going to fill this in with four inch uh, plate right here. And then I added this as kind of a bull bar in the front. Um, this will also give us a place to mount some uh, off-road lights down the road if I want to. It's kind of a little bit forward of the grill. So it gives me a place to step up and into the, uh, into the engine bay if I need to. So what I think I'm going to do next here is I need to connect this tube to here to create a reinforcement point on both sides. So check this out. This is my final design for the sides. So obviously we're gonna have to trim some of this plastic. This is part of the course port, so we're not really gonna be able to remove that and I don't want to. So it's just gonna be a little exposed. We'll paint it black and it should disappear behind the truck. You can see we got the body lines pretty well. Everything is pretty even side to side. And so the next step is, I think we're gonna take this thing, thing off the truck, put it up on the bench and start uh, finish welding all the tubes, taking care of all the little gaps and stuff. And then uh, probably call it a day there. And then tomorrow we're gonna mount it back onto the truck and then start doing all the plate work. Um, I'm gonna see if I had tracked down some eighth inch plate. Cause all I have right now is 316s, which is really a little too heavy for just like really bumper pieces. But uh, we'll use what we have and try to fill some of the pockets to give it a more of a solid look. But we had the bumper fully off. I fully welded it. I capped all the ends and stuff. We obviously still haven't done a final cleanup and grind. Uh, let me show you guys the front here. So this is our first piece of plate. As you can see, I basically cut through here and bent this to give it a little bit more shape. So this will provide protection here in the front. We've also added our front receiver hitch and gusseted it. Uh, it's fully welded all the way around to this bar and then gusseted. This is all 316s. So now if I bring you guys over here, the next step is we need something to kind of fill this area. And this is a weird contoured space. And eventually there's gonna be some fog lights in here as well. So it actually comes on and off the truck really well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, basically just had to use a jack to kind of force it into position and then uh, slide the bolts through. I think it looks pretty good so far. I'm uh, actually pretty happy with it. I went to bed last night and I um, had finished all the tube work and finished welding things. And I like wasn't really fully sold on it, you know? And I was like, well, come back in the morning we'll take another look at it see see how i like it you know see how it looks uh but looking at it on the truck this morning with that first piece of plate in there i'm really starting to dig the vibe i have a sheet of this is i believe one eighth material this is what i'm going to try to use to fill those areas and as you can see over here we got some cardboard and so we're going to do a little bit of cardboarded design try to find a piece that kind of fits right it's not going to obviously follow the full line i just want the front blocked out um so we'll try to basically use some cardboard figure out where the best fit for that is and then once i have a cardboard template we'll uh you know use the plasma cutter and cut it out of the eight so using the plasma and a grinder, we cut out these plates. This is where our fog lights are going to mount eventually. And you can see it definitely cleans up the front look if I bring you guys back here. Space for airflow, we got protection. End up building something uh, to kind of cover up that tank because that definitely looks like it's going to get destroyed. But I don't think that's going to be part of the bumper. That's probably going to be part of something that just stays on the truck. So we've got the bumper on the bench. So we've added these pods because this is obviously an angle and I wanted to have fog lights, but I actually wanted the fog lights to generally point forward, down and out. So they would actually be useful. So I got these yellow type fogs and they come with a gasket and some bolts and we'll drill this after we paint everything. So these guys just drop in. So I basically fabricated this is eighth inch plate. 
Um, we just have like a little box in here. Additionally, I added some tabs here for the license plate, nothing too special. Double checked all of the welds, made sure that I was happy with where all the welds were, how they were done clean it up and now we've actually uh, cleaned this up and so I think we are just about ready to hit this thing with paint and throw it back on the truck. Well, let's take a look at the final product. I'm really happy with this. You can see we have a lot of front ground clearance. We've got good body protection on the side. We've got our fog lights installed. We've got our license plate installed and everything Fits up pretty nice. I got everything trimmed out pretty nice. And overall, I'm very happy with it. This is kind of the first uh, complex tubing project that I've done. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, check out my other truck video playlist. Uh, and as always, I'm Max. This is Max Works. I'll catch you guys in the next one.